take two. Remember, like, share, and subscribe this video if you like the content. Um, have a comment. Um, also, where you can find this uh, Call of Love in the Trill 1-4 will be in the descriptions on the shellrelane.com. That link will be in the descriptions of this video. Also, um, again, follow me on all platforms, according to Akara. I'm on all of them almost, almost all of them, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm there. So go watch those videos, like those reels, tell a friend, tell a kin. And again, also, um, follow Michelle Elaine, the author. She's on Instagram as well and all the platforms there. And if you get the book, it'll tell you all the places she is on the back, where you can find her. Um, on Facebook, Instagram, with her website, MichelleLaneBooks.com, and her email if you would like to book her for some any type of event. All right. Good evening. Welcome to Bedtime Stories, Season 5, Episode 1 where we're going to start to um, review the prologue of Caught Up Loving a Trill One Four by Michelle Elaine. Now, as you know, I told you all that I'll be getting this book. This is the last chapter. I mean, the last series of Caught Up Loving a Trill One. And, chap and I keep wanting to call it Chapter 3, Child, but it's actually the, fourth, the third book was supposed to be the last book, but she untied that bow really nicely by adding prologues and epilogues to this book. So, we're going to get into that in a minute. But first, Season 5's first episode of uh, Bedtime Cocktails. Tonight, I'm just going to do a little tequila spritzer. Something very easy. Something very light, perfect for the first day of summer, even though it's not officially the first day of summer, but you know, it's a perfect summertime spirit. Spritzers, something light. Tonight I am using Luna Azul, Luna Azul tequila. Um, a person at the uh, liquor store where I was looking for the tequilas I was going to get, recommended this one. And as you can see, mm -hmm, I've been uh, doing my thing all weekend. <laughs> so I thought I would try it. And it is actually very good. So we're going to do uh, one or two jiggers. I already have a glass of ice in my according to carb. Um, see, I'm sitting with twisting my hand in a way you can't see it. I mean, it's not supposed to turn. Glass, you can get that. That will be in the descriptions on how you can get a glass like this. And on the front, it is um, my logo. And on the back is where you can follow me on all platforms. So we're going to start off with some Luna Azul. With, I'm going to do one jigger. Now, this is the slowest pour ever. Now, I'm going to pour that in the glass. Start off because we want something light. I don't want to be like, oh, hungover tomorrow, even though I have not been hungover on that one. And I've got me some ice sparkling water. This is also very health conscious. And if you're um, watching your calories, it's zero sugar. Or you're watching your sugar, it's zero sugar, and it's bubbly. And I got strawberry, strawberry lemonade uh, sparkling water. Okay, so let's open this up. Now you're wondering, like, why aren't you using your shaker this time? Why aren't you using your, um, or, or why you're not stirring? Well, first of all, try to shake any type of carbonated drink into... A shaker and see what you get a mess that's what you're going to get 
and stirring it is not necessary. I'll use the straw to maybe stir it up a little bit in the um in this glass just to kind of get it all mixed up in there and that's it. A tequila spritzer. So really easy, very cool drink to have. I don't feel um I'll be honest with you, because this is a zero sugar um, water drink, it, st it does have an aftertaste of that fake diet, that fake sugar, okay, real honestly, so, but it's good, and I feel a tad more healthier. <laughs> sipping on his tequila spritzer so that's what i call it i don't know if there's a drink or someone cr created a drink for that but that's none of my business is it no it is not let's get into it let's get into it um this is going to be a pretty short video because the epilogue i mean the um prologue wasn't very long at all even I even read a couple of a couple of four or five pages. I mean, not pages, but paragraphs into the first chapter, which is longer. This book is longer. Also, it's a there's a chapter nineteen in this book, and then an epilogue where she, I'm assuming based off of my experience in reading her book, she's going to tie it right back up in very neatly and nicely like she normally does. Okay. So, okay, so let's get into the prologue of Caught Up Loving and Trill 1 4. Okay, so in Caught Up Loving and Trill 1 4, you said, like, Girl, you want to really, don't you need your glasses? I do, and I do, okay, but today I'm not going to use it because I'm not going to do a lot of reading, I've already read it with my glasses on, so mind your business. <laughs> so, um, basically, the prologue is telling the story. Now, we know that um, Toy wasn't sure how she wanted to proceed when, um, or she, she didn't, she was not sure how she wanted to proceed with um, now that Tyson's gone, Pablo's gone, the war is over, and um, what do we do now? Who's going to run Atlanta? She has an opportunity, she had an opportunity to get out and she took it. Um, but she was asked by Scar, um, you know, I mean, you know, what should I do with Saint? Because I can keep him here. But I sure, even though I can really use him back home at Texas, I um, I'm willing to let him stay here. Basically, what do you want? You know, basically, he knew that they had a thing going on. You know, and if she wanted him to stay, she would have let he would have let her stay there. But I think because she was trying to get out of the game completely, and he's still in the game, if you know what I mean. Um, if you don't know what the game is, go back to my other videos, uh, uh, season two, three, four, five, okay, of, um, bedtime stories, well, five is this one, but, um, go back there and you'll know what game I'm talking about, think about it, think about it, and she was getting out, she had the opportunity to get out now, cause she did, you know, so, because she was like, uh, let me think about it, and, but inwardly she wanted, she didn't want to make that type of decision because she didn't want, she wanted, she wanted him to, to go and it was like, okay, Saint is going to, once we wrap it up here in Atlanta and we appoint a new person, now the toy is not going to be in the business. Saint is going to go home because Scar said that's what you need to do. Go back to Texas. Which, funny enough, I thought they were both from Panama. I mean, not Panama City, but um, they were from South America somewhere. But home is Texas. 
I guess their American home is Texas. I'm just saying. And uh, I saw that. I, I recognized that and said, I thought they were talking about they, they're both Panamanian or something like that. And But home is Texas. Anyway, moving on. Um... Uh, so Toy didn't have a decision, so basically Saint helped her make the decision, you know. And I think he, I think he was kind of like, you know, it's like, well, you kind of answered the question by not answering the question immediately, you know. Um, so let me help you. And she kind of wanted that. She wanted a cop out. She basically wanted Scar to say, okay, so Saint's coming back. And da, da 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 So she was kind of taken aback that she asked that question. But because of that, that's, you know, he's headed home. So Saint made the decision. And I'll be, like I said, I feel like, I feel like Saint felt some type of way. That's the reason why he uh, just like made the decision. Oh, she don't want me here. I thought she loved me. Well, fuck. If she can't make a decision, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? And he said a lot of nobles type of things like you need to heal um you and your daughters have been through a lot and that i wish they had okay and they would have been able to still go through a lot had he allowed her to answer scar on her own but the fact that it wasn't an instantaneous please don't let my ma my baby go back i need him here with me um, I feel like Saint felt some type of way, if you ask me. So, in the prologue, we're here. They have wrapped up the wrapped up business. They have already assigned who's going to take over in Atlanta. Um, the whole thing is already done, and it's now time for Saint to go on back to Texas. So, the prologue starts off with, with Saint in the shower. It starts off with Saint in the shower and her in the bed kind of like agonizing over this being their last day together. And um, she's just really going through it. It's like, oh, I'm going to miss him. I don't know why. You know, she's kind of like going back and forth in her, in her mind um trying to see if maybe I could convince him to stay but I don't want you know to convince him to stay means that it have to be something more permanent and she had just got a divorce from Tyson and now he's gone so she's not really ready for anything any type of commitment for real for real you know what I'm saying and let's think she's also thinking about her daughter it's like oh so daddy is gone and you moved on really quick mom so i mean i can understand the reason it's like but she loves him she has grown very much attached to saint and he ain't ugly he is quite sexy brother from what i've read okay um and the author has explained to me that she has pictured him as a light-skinned brother um, there is not any light-skinned brother that I could imagine to be Saint. Maybe, uh, what's, what's his name? Jesse. Jess, the one that, that they had the, 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 someone wrongfully video the play that he was in. I, I can't remember. I want to say Jesse Powell, but I don't know if that's his name. Honey. Maybe him, but he just doesn't seem like a trill one you know what i'm saying like saying this so the best person i can think that could be trill like that is um michael jai white oh this is fine self but at this point in my mind i can't think of a person that i would see as trill and light skin love you i know that i mean and not to say that 
light skinned brothers can't be drill. But I can't picture one right now. You know what I'm saying? But so for me, ooh. And he's not light skinned either. My man crush Monday on TikTok. This brother is just a fine. And then I found out, oh, he's he's in his late twenties. That's oh, I feel I feel no ways at all. That brother is fine. He looks like he's tall. He he's he's a weight um a mu uh, not a muscle builder, but I guess so. That's what you call him. But he is cat cat. He in my book is all day every day. I don't even know what his real name is. Okay. It's legacy something on TikTok. If you see it, you know what I'm talking about. And he's he repping Oklahoma. So I'm assuming he lives there or from there or something, but he's a young man. And he can be my saint all day. I can see him being that character. Like I can see him. Even though I think he talk a lot. He probably talk more than Saint's character in the book talks. Okay. But yeah, he is my saint. Okay. He's my saint. He, he's my Michael Job White could be Tyson. He's gone now. But at any rate, I don't know who Zeus is. I would say Zeus could be and he's passed on uh what's the big green mile? Uh, um, brother, he can, he can be Zeus. Mm. Says something about brown, big, brown, muscular, big, oh, shoot, even big and have a little bit of a belly. Just big, just big. Uh, it says, ooh, it says, ooh, ooh. Like six two, six seven. Mm. Shaq doesn't do it for me, but he could. <laughs> but ooh, something about a big brother, just big, just tall, tall, big, and big and stock. Ooh, child. But anyway, moving on. So she's agonizing in bed. She's like. I don't even want to see him when he comes from the shower, when he emerged out that bathroom. So she goes and she picks up her little pre-rolled uh, blizzy, picks up a liner, goes out on the patio in the condo. They're still in Scar's condo. And she she's smoking out the window. Thinking, how could you do this to me? <laughs> Oh, I thought that it was, I thought that he belonged to only me, but I was wrong, he belonged to the streets, the streets, yeah, because he wasn't, he didn't belong to anybody, he definitely belonged to her, but he also belonged to the game, so, Again, like I said, I still think that he made the decision for it because he felt some type of way. He was kind of he, he was kind of pissed and hurt. You know what I'm saying? And and he wasn't willing to be played around with. Okay, he was not trying to be played around with. Hi everyone, um, as I was editing, I realized that my camera cut off of the a major part of the end of the prologue okay so here we go i'm gonna tell you this and so yeah you're gonna see that i have on a whole different thing this is a whole other day yes it is whatever okay so at the end of the prologue um basically scar left a toy a substantial amount of money because for all the work that she did and all the things that she did to help out the business and he gave signed over the house to I mean not the house but the condo to her so that her children and her don't have to worry about finding another place and all that stuff and so so forth and of course your boy 
went back, your boy Saint went back to Texas. Uh, everything on the inside of both of them were like waiting for the, both of them to, uh, Toy was wait, wanted to jump in his arms and say, please don't leave me. And he wanted her to jump in his arms and say, please don't leave me. But both of them was too drill to be real. Okay. <laughs> so that's how the um, prolong ended. Remember, like, share, and subscribe this video if you like the content. Um, have a comment. Um, also, where you can find this uh, Caught Up Loving a Trill 1-4 will be in the descriptions on michellelaine.com. That link will be in the descriptions of this video. Also, um, again, follow me on all platforms, according to Akara. I'm on all of them almost. Almost all of them. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I'm there. So go watch those videos, like those reels, tell a friend, tell a kin. And again, also um, follow Michelle Elaine, the author. She is on Instagram as well and all the platforms there. And if you get the book, it'll tell you all the places she is on the back. Where you can find her um, on Facebook, Instagram, with her website, michellelanebooks.com. And her email if you would like to book her for some any type of event. All right. That's all I have you for you. You all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye.